let's get some rest here. I'm not even gonna... Well, maybe I can sleep until midnight. You unlock... I remember the last game that was an option. Let's see. Eh, bonk. Uh, no, I can just ah. sleep for a few hours. Let's fast forward through this. Oh, there goes the sun. So it is sunset. That sounds like a pretty good time to go out playing. That's, oh good, it's time for the show. I thought I could skip it. So you're back. No, it's your front. Take a seat. No, take two, they're small. I got a joke just for you, so don't look so sheepish. Oh, Aladdin flashbacks. All right, but I'm only staying for the food. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and all you others. I'd like to say how glad I am to be here. I'd like to say it. Seriously, folks, staying at the Hotel Mordavia has been like staying at a resort. A last resort. Nope, still not getting it. My room is so small, the mice are hunchbacked. I couldn't even complain about the room service. There wasn't any to complain about. And the innkeeper's wife really went out of her way to make me feel at home. She ignored me completely. Hey, that's my friend Bella. Don't you say anything bad about that Bella. The local doctor. You know, Dr. Cranium. He's the guy with the three pairs of glasses. One for nearsightedness, one for farsightedness, and one to look for the other two. Uh... I said to the doctor, my heart keeps making a strange noise. It keeps going tick, tick, tick. Aha, said Dr. Cranium. We have ways of making you talk. Nope. Next, I went to visit the local store. If you don't know what's up, then you haven't seen their prices lately. And the shopkeeper, what a gossip. She suffers from acute indiscretion. I dislike repeating gossip, but uh, what else can you do with it? And boy, oh boy, the monster's in this place. If I ever come face to face with a revenant, I know what steps I take. Long ones. But you're a gnome. What I do if ever I saw a necrotor? Hope it didn't see me. Actually, folks, I'm up here for a good reason. A jester's ambition is to be healthy, wealthy, and wisecracking. If it weren't for my friend the hero over there, I couldn't make a hyena laugh. Aw, thanks, punny. So, when you've lost your wit, broken your funny bone, and none of your puns are fun, it helps to have a hero handy. You know, that reminds me very little of the story about the grave digger who was so bored, he buried himself in his work. Oh, that's not funny. He almost died. I'll tell you some more jokes, but you'd only laugh at him. So long and be good. If you can't be good, then be careful. The gnome takes a deep bow and gets down off the stage. That's funny, you always thought he got down off a duck. <laughs> ah, the townspeople explode into spontaneous applause. Really? They like things? Smiling, it makes people wonder what you've been up to. So, was that funny or are you just keeping your mouth shut? Both. Uh, let's see, say goodbye. I can just talk to him about his basic plans. He still doesn't want to talk about Bell. Oh, maybe you like the show? The gnome was very odd and said very strange things. Yet, Mr. Bones was very funny this time. Uh, and I enjoyed listening to him. I don't think you ever smile. All right, well, let's see how the townspeople are doing. Do they like the show? Uh, gnome. You know, he wasn't such a bad person once you got to know him. Yeah, except for that drooling problem, we'd welcome him in Moldavia if he ever came back. I still wouldn't let him marry my daughter, though. You don't have a daughter. Stop. Well, that might constitute a major obstacle to marrying her. Okay, that looks like these guys are a bit inspired by the performance. Uh, performance! Now that was an evening of, thank goodness, rare entertainment. I was okay. I laughed till I stopped. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, it was boffo. I even got some of the jokes. Boffo. There's a reference. All right, well, whatever. I got shit to do. That is the last time we will see so our friend Punny Bones. If you well, it's so long, it's been nice to know you. I like you. I have no taste, but I like you. If you ever make it to Silmaria, look me up. I never forget a friend, especially if he owes me money. Silmaria, eh? But seeing as how it's me that owes you one, I'd better get while the going's good. See ya! Don't take any wooden kopecks! I wonder how he knew everybody in town so- Oh, God damn it, punny. Story. A man runs up to his doctor and says, Doc, you gotta help me. I keep thinking I'm a goat. 
The doctor asked, how long have you had this delusion? The guy replied, ever since I was a kid. Bada boom, bada boom. That just goes to show you I'm one bad dude. It's been sheer pleasure here, but I'm gonna take it on the lamb and just bleed it. Be seeing you. Ugh, okay. I don't think you guys are allowed to make fun of my dad jokes anymore because those were the daddiest of all dad jokes. Alright, so let's wander around. Well, eventually we'll hit the castle, but I want to see if Katrina will show up. Let's see. Let's rest here for a quick second. Maybe okay. she only shows up at midnight. No, not here. Dang it. All right. Well, I'm just excited because she's falling in love with me. That's awesome. All right, let's save here and we will... I guess we'll head back up into the castle and we'll give the doll back to Tanya. Uh, now, which way back to the graveyard? I think it was around this way, maybe. We got a long way to go, so I'll see you, I'll see you up at Tanya's room. I somehow made it directly up to her tower room. I, I I remember getting lost so badly, but hey, we made it. All right, saving doll. Open door. Hi guys. Eyes friend. Hey, you guys know me. Who is it this time, Toby? Just me. Oh. <laughs> Not nice. What does he want this time, Toby? Okay. Well, hello. Uh, hi. You say hello. Hello? Do you live in the castle now, too? I wish. This place is pretty sweet. Just see, I think I already talked about the innkeepers and stuff. Can I say anything else before I give her the, uh, the doll? Castle, vampires... That's a No. Nothing I can lose. Alright, so let's just give her the doll and... See what happens. There you go. What is that? Toby, let him in! <coughs> Indigestion. Toby, he has our dolly! There you go, kiddo. Oh, she's so happy. <gasps> bringing her to me. I thought she was lost. Where did you find her? There's a long story. Uh, oh, I actually have to tell the story myself. Uh, no, I don't want to talk to you. I just want to... Let's see. Tell her about Mommy. Tell her about the inn. Uh, let's... Let's see if I make this more personal so I can really make it feel like they miss her. Mommy! You tell Tanya how our Mommy misses her. Aww. I miss my Mommy, too. Sometimes I want to cry, but I can't anymore. Oh. I just feel sad. So sad. I guess I'll talk about the inn as well. You tell her about the inn and how sad it is without this her. This is so sad. If I went back to the inn, I'd never be afraid of the dark. So it sounds like she actually wants to go home. <laughs> Toby says that everyone would be afraid of me now. I don't want them to be afraid of me. Well, we can fix that. Ugh, I hate this part. I really do. You tell about Irana's staff and how it can make Tanya back into a real little girl. She's still a girl, just I like different. Staff. It always made such pretty flowers in town. You say it will make me all better and I won't be a bad thing anymore? You nod your head. Oh boy. I can see my mommy and daddy again! I want to hear the recording session of um, this guy. Toby asks, what else will the staff do? Um... You try to explain about sacrifice. <laughs> uh... Toby says he understands. He says you should take us to the staff now. So I can be with my mommy and daddy again. 
Okay, kiddo, I don't think you quite understand what's happening here. I feel weird here. Kinda happy. Icky! I'm scared. <laughs> oh, look at his eyes. Oh, God. I know you'll protect oh. me, Toby, but who will protect you? Oh, Tanya. <laughs> I can't believe... Oh, he's so full of love for this little girl. I'll protect you. And he's gonna give her the... Cast the ritual of release. How do I know that? Oh, this is so sad. Goodbye, Toby. The sacrifice of life. For love. And Tanya's like, wait, wait a second. Your love for the child is great. You see Toby silently nod his head. I'm all choked up here. Will you trade your life to give life to the child? <laughs> oh. Will you die willingly <laughs> for the one you love? So shall the sacrifice be done. Oh. Oh. Toby! Oh, don't God! He's still laying there! Toby! So oh, is no, the God. sacrifice complete. I am again the staff of Irana. Oh, God, you're better off as a vampire, kid. I didn't protect you too good. Oh, Tanya, it's okay. But you're a real girl now, you're alive. I love you too, Toby. Oh, she lost like her only friend. You take the sobbing child in your arms and carry her to the inn. You awaken her parents and are overwhelmed by their gratitude and joy. It is long before you manage to escape to the peace of your own room for what is left of the night. I kind of want to go exploring for the rest of the night, but... Now I'm just all depressed. Even as the sun begins to rise. Guys, that is just the saddest thing. I mean, it's happy, but... Oh, poor Toby. You know, I didn't give him enough credit because I thought he was just an overprotective monster, but he really did love that kid. Oh, God, my heart. My heart. But hey, at least I got this cool staff out of the deal. Yeah, the legendary staff of the Archmage Irana. It also makes for a very nice walking stick. I better not break that, because this is probably one of the most important things in the game. Oh, there she is! I must thank you for saving our Tanya. You have brought joy again into our lives. We are... <laughs> ah, in your day. How about a couple free nights at the inn? Uh, how about uh, a nice breakfast, at least? That'd be kind of cool. Oh, well. Now, what's weird is, I've been trying to do this the entire time, but I you can have a conversation with Yuri and Bella about the, the doll and Tanya and how she disappeared and all that kind of stuff, but they seem mum on the entire subject. They didn't want to talk about it at all. But at least now they can talk about it. Child! Oh, she is her joyful self again. The sound of a child's voice is the sweetest of music. We will do our best to show our love and never... Never let her be afraid of the dark again. See, Yuri's not smiling still, but he actually seems like a happy guy now. Maybe he was just depressed this entire time. Poor guy. I do not know what to make of Tanya's stories about vampires. It is hard to imagine my lovely daughter as an undead. Gladly, though, I would go to the castle and drive a stake through the heart of the one who stole our daughter from us. Wow, okay, so yeah, he is a protective parent. Let's see what Bella has to say. Let's get her out here, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, it's Bella, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a typical country breakfast. Fried beets and sausage with garlic for a garnish. Lee, I don't know how we can ever thank you enough. It's such a joy to have my little Tanya home again. Oh, she missed you too, and I immediately starts smoking up. Well done. Uh, child! Oh, my Tanya, you... Yeah, 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 very, 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 yeah, okay. Nothing much to say. Let's see how Tanya's doing. Uh, what? I can ask her about Adavis? What? Technically, I don't even know. Uh, it's, okay, Adavis. I didn't like him. He didn't like me. He didn't like Katrina either. They were always having fights. But he had to do what she told him to do. And that made him very mad. 
Oh boy. Alright, so it sounds like our theory was correct. So Katrina and Adavis are both in the castle. How Adavis is alive, I don't know. Oh wait, when he fell, he said, Dark One, save me, I, I think. So maybe this is who he was trying to summon back in Quest for Glory 2, and now he's back, and now he's in servitude because he died. What a loser. I like Trina. She was kind to me and gave me lots of nice things. She even taught me to read and write, but I'll never go back to her. I want to stay with my mommy and daddy. Aww. So cute. See, now that I've actually become a parent, this actually hits me a little bit harder than before. Oh, I don't even want to ask her about Toby. Toby was my best friend in all the world. And I miss him. I wish he could come and live with us here. Well, we can make him a vampire. Would that be cool? I'm happy to be home again. Everyone in town has come to see me and talk to me, and it's fun to be important. I like it. Aww. All right. Well, hey, we're fixing everything. Uh, oh, I can tell about Toby's sacrifice. Maybe that'll make them feel better about the big monster that took her away in the night. You tell again how Toby sacrificed himself for Tanya. Again? He may have looked like a monster, but he obviously had a heart and mind of great kindness. He did. Uh, I can talk about vampires, too, if I want to. to remind the innkeeper that the vampires are still in the castle. And there may be other attempts at getting Tanya. We understand, and we will make certain no vampire can come near her again. You do have to invite them in, so just you know, be a you little bit more cautious. All right. So I've been reminded several times that I need food. So let's go visit Olga. It's been a while since I talked to her. And oh. you have brought real joy to Mordavia by bringing Tanya back. When she was stolen, it I was, was as if all the laughter here had been taken as well. You gave us back our well, happiness. Well, it takes a village to raise a child. Good day, and good to see you again. Oh my god, I can't believe the 180 he's pulled with me. Hey, man. Hi, Dimitri. Good to see you. Let's see if I can talk to him a little bit more about this whole Tanya thing. See what else is going on in town. Oh, I can talk about the dark one? I have not spoken of it before, because I know so little. Still, it is very bad luck to speak of it, and the memories of Mordavia are deep. They worshipped it in the monastery, that much I know. The members of the monastery stayed mostly within its walls, but the townspeople feared them. That must be who the Chernovi wizards are now. The followers were all like madmen, concealed in robes and speaking in whispers. Then one day they were all gone. We heard of the fighting down by the Dark One's cave, of course. No one returned here except for my grandfather. He brought this staff here and said Irana was dead. Uh, Irana! That is all I know of the matter. Uh, okay, so there was a big battle at the mouth of the cave. His grandfather was Pyotr, a paladin, and Irana, and I guess they were able to seal the Dark One away, I remember hearing. But... That was the price they had to pay, and I think P I think Pyotr is dead as well, uh, but it's from old age. Vampires? I know only what legends tell of them. Undead, which drink the blood of the living. We have always had stories of them here. I have never known anyone here to be harmed by a vampire that we know of for certain. Well, you got Tanya now. Uh, well... All right, well, goodbye. Let's back to adventure. Take care. All right, I, I'm not sure what else we can do at the moment. Um, I guess we could sneak back in the castle, but no one's gonna be there until nighttime. Uh, let's just wander around. Oh wait, we gotta go see Olga. I haven't visited Doctor Cranium in a while too. Let's see how they're doing. Back. All right, Olga's first. Let's go through the sphincter of her shop and buy ourselves some rations. That's important. I heard that someone burned down the old monastery. Isn't it strange how you were seen around that building recently? It's one of the biggest buildings in town. It's hard to miss. Uh, let's see. Let's buy some equipment. Trail rations. That's what we need. Buy... Oh, that wasn't doing anything. Oh, right! We gotta help the, uh... The Rizalka, but we seriously we gotta figure out how. 
Uh, who would know? I guess the gypsies would be the best people yes, to talk to about that. And I know how you love their tarot oh. card readings. But first, Dr. C. How you doing there? Whoop. Damn, I'm good! Alright, enough of your memory games. Alright, let's see how this creature's doing. I have done it! Yeah! The world shall not soon forget the genius of Dr. Cranium! The experiment is a success! Behold! Frankie! Ho ho ho! Is she not something? I'm looking forward to an exhilarating series of experiments. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you guys want to be the first to know when new stuff comes out, hit the subscribe button up there. And if you want to see some more Quest for Glory stuff, click on this monitor here behind me. The one you can sort of see is playing Quest for Glory stuff. And over here, this one's playing something else. You can click on that too to watch that. I think that's Shadowgate. It's pretty good. And so are you guys and gals.